So I started doing some scam baiting because I think it's fun and it's something I've wanted to do for a while. And I see some other people on YouTube are doing it. And frankly, it's actually pretty entertaining. So I wanted to share it with you guys. So I didn't have any scam emails to start with. So I had to go to a website. And I found this lovely paragraphs of information here. Uh, we have an email that someone got that was 687 words. Uh, I'm not going to read all of these. I'm just going to skim it for the important information and also mock some stuff so that we know what the hell we're going on with. Of course, they don't know our names, so it starts with Dear Beneficiary. Hmm, wonder why. We hope this notification arrives meeting your good health in mind. Yes, yeah, this notification definitely, um, it, uh, had to schedule. I I'm pretty busy, so we had a nice meeting, and, um, the notification arrived perfectly with that meeting. Actually, it popped up in the middle of my good health and mind meeting. It's a very important meeting. <laughs> yeah, you know, these other meetings, blah, 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 blah. So, <laughs> they were meeting with the Secretary General of the United Nations Organization. Oh, good news, it ended three days ago. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, they were meeting with the <laughs> former acting director of the FBI. Congratulations, those are some big words. Uh, you guys spelled it correctly. It is obvious that he, you have not received your fund, which is to the tune of 4.8 million. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like it'd be obvious if, um, you know, someone didn't pick up their 4.8 million, so I'll give you that. That does seem pretty obvious. Due to past corrupt government officials. Ugh. How could they? Selfish reasons? Oh, that's just the worst. And, um, yeah, so they were trying to take advantage of my fun in an attempt to swindle it. Okay, wait. <laughs> that's one heck of a run-on sentence as well, by the way. For more information, do get back to us. The National Central Bureau of Interpol, enhanced by the United Nations and the Federal Bureau of Investigations, have successfully passed a mandate. Congratulations, you guys. You passed a mandate. That's pretty good work. And wow, they passed this mandate specifically so I could get my 4.8 million. Wow, I'm, I'm really thankful, guys. You're doing some great work. Thank you. Okay, so we are happy to inform you that based on our recommendation, your outstanding current inheritance funds of overdue payment in ton of USD 4.8 million has been credited in your favor in SunTrust Bank. Well, thank you. Having said all this, we further advise you to go ahead and dealing with the SunTrust Bank accordingly, and we will be monitoring their activities with you, as well as your correspondence at all levels. Well. Good to know that they have my back and that they're watching. Now, this right here, oh boy, this is my favorite part of this email right here. <laughs> oh, this is so funny to me. Note, there are numerous scam emails on the internet. Imposters impersonating names and images. We therefore warn our dear citizens to be very careful with any claim email you receive prior to these irregularities so that they do not fall victim to this ugly circumstance anymore. <laughs> and should it, in case you are already dealing with anybody or office claiming that you have a payment with them, you are to stop further contact with them immediately in your best interest and contact the real Bank, Sun Rust Bank. Hmm. Sun Rust or Sun Trust, guys? Because I'm supposed to be contacting the real Sun Rust Bank. You guys are claiming that you're the Sun Trust Bank. I don't really know if I trust you guys. But um I'm just gonna let that one slide, but I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a bit cautious here. But uh, I'll just assume you've accidentally made a typo. It happens to the best of us. So yeah, only where your fund is laying within with the below information. So this freaking entire section here is 
trying to give themselves credibility while also trying to stop you from giving your money to other scammers so that they can get your money instead. That's what this is. This is scammers fighting with each other. And blah, 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 blah. SunTrust Bank, this, that, the other thing. So what they want, they want my full name, current address, city, state, zip code, and a direct contact number. Uh, not bad. We can fake some of that. Blah, 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 blah. Do it quickly because stuff's happening. This, that, the other thing. Thank you so much for your anticipated cooperation. Okay. So. I then sent an email. Let's see. I emailed them something along the lines of like, yo. Uh, I'm ready to accept it. What do I have to do? And they sent back this. Guaranteed payment. Actually, wait, let's see. Can I find that first sent email? The SunTrust Bank. Yeah, okay. Is it up here? Nah, okay. So they're like... <clears throat> my fake name here. I, uh, I gave them some fake information stuff here. Um, that I'm not even gonna show up here unless I... That's later, who knows. Anyway. Attention! Beneficiary Sarah Karen Brown. A totally fake name that is absolutely completely fake and if i ever need to provide photo id it's going to be the stereotypical karen for those of us that watch reddit videos <laughs> blah 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 yeah so this right here they're like we're going to be using it's so yeah here right here uh the transfer of your funds will be made via swift mt 103, which will enable you to make instant withdrawals from your local bank within 24 hours. They're like, a lot of people don't know what SWIFT is. It's this, that, blah, 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 blah. Now the SWIFT empty blah, blah is blah. And there's like literally three paragraphs of nonsense on this thing that I don't really do not care about. And then they're like, so give us your money, you stupid bitch. Uh, here's your options. One, bank-to-bank -bank wire transfer. Guarantee of two days. It'll only cost you nearly $1,000. Uh, by ATM MasterCard. And that'll only be 800 you know. There's these things called credit card fees. Usually around like 3-5%, I think. So, you know. Uh, interesting that this one is slightly lower. You'd think it'd be a bit higher to cover the interest costs of that. But, you know, whatever. By check, bank draft. Uh, by courier del delivery, only $650. So, you know, what any, you know, sane person would do is go, I'm going to go option three. That's a smaller amount of money that I'll have to pay. So, obviously, that is what I did. No, I asked them what they would prefer. And what do you think that they prefer? If you answered the highest amount of money, that is correct. That's really cool. I like that history lesson on payment systems. It's a little confusing, but fascinating. What payment method would you like to use? <laughs> Shocker. I would like to use bank-to-bank -bank wire transfer. The fee is US $950. I want to know the date you'll be able to raise the fee. Raise the fee US $950. You know, there's supposed to be an of there, but eh, who cares? Also, you should provide your banking details for us, where you want your US 4.8 million to be transferred via bank-to-bank -bank wire transfer. I will wait for your response. Uh, tomorrow if I can ask my sister for... Blah. Tomorrow I'll ask my sister if I can borrow some money. What account number are you going to use? I want to let my bank know as I'm expecting a large transfer from you and not to be concerned. Uh... <laughs> And bold, thanks for your mail in which you said you will ask your sister to loan you the required fee US $950 tomorrow. And update me once you are once you have the fee in which you are able to send. What I like about this is they at least had to type this part here. They at least had to type that. So it required some amount of effort and it is not completely just a templated response. They had to put in a little bit of effort here, and they're still wasting some amount of time, which I enjoy. 
I'm going to now simulate seeming more human for you so that I am more relatable by pretending to drink water. I believe that is called ASMR. Anyway, back to where we were dealing with. As well as regards to your question on the account number that I'm going to use, let me explain this to you. Since you are the true beneficiary of the fund, US $4.8 million deposit in our SunTrust Bank, you are the one in position to provide your banking details to us as where your fund will be f transferred to as soon as you pay the fee first. They're like, no bitch, you tell us your information. Your bank name and address, account name, account number, routing number, SWIFT code number. Frankly, I don't even know what the hell a SWIFT code is, so it's fine. Beneficiary address, scan copy of your identity via email attachment. My goal is to just delay them obnoxiously long until I can fake that stuff, which I've never bothered to do yet. <laughs> I'm about to probably need to, but eh, whatever. For your own good. This part's great. For your own good, you do not need to let your bank... Wait a second. Yeah, no, okay, that is how... It's... That is read stupidly, okay. For your own good, you don't need to let your bank that you will be expecting huge amount of fund from our SunTrust bank. Double space. Yet, until you first send the fee to our receiver agent here, and I will make the wire transfer to your bank account, understand? No, because that wasn't English. But what you're trying to say is, I am a scammer, for the love of God, do not let your bank know that I exist, please. Blah, 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 once you have the money, let me know, this, that, the other thing, blah, blah. Also, hang on, <laughs> I just noticed, Walmart to Walmart money transfer. <laughs> Yes, yes, because you have to walk to a Walmart. Okay, that's fun. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. And then the next day, have you been able to raise the fee? Wait a day. Yep, got it. <laughs> Just waste their time. Here, uh, in all caps, here is our receiver agent bank account information where you will be able to blah, 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 blah. So, there's that. So you know what I did? Twitter.com. Hello, I want to report a bank account with your company for fraud. The individual is an email scammer pretending to be SunTrust Bank. Requesting a fee so they can give you millions. I did not fall victim to them. I am wasting their time. I can provide the email chain as proof if you desire. I hope this was helpful. <laughs> so yeah, now I will get back to you guys if anything fun happens to them. <laughs> Hopefully their bank account gets frozen and they can no longer scam people. That is, of course, the end goal. I do enjoy reporting scammers for scamming because it makes their life hell. Anyway, I responded... Because, honestly, I've been busy the last few days, so I just got back to them now. Sorry it took so long to get back to you. I just got out of the hospital. I was in a bad car accident. Wasn't my fault. First thing tomorrow, I'll head down and send you the money. Thank goodness the money I'm going to get from this is the only way I can pay these medical bills. I never knew they were really were so crazy high. <laughs> Watches they don't even say, sorry to hear you were in a car accident. I bet they won't. So I'll keep you guys updated on what craziness happens here. Anyway, 